Welcome back to the channel, guys. We're back at it again. Welcome back. We're here again another day with the Suburban. It's a little gloomy and rainy today, but it's not going to stop us. What we're doing today is we're going to flush out the cooling system because somebody put water in here. So we got a lot of rust in here. Before we put a new radiator in the water pump, we want to clear the block of the rusty water. Yep. And then put coolant back in. Yeah, we got a new radiator. Oh, we water got some new pump. new water pumps, some new hoses. Thermostat housing, thermostat. Yep, so, uh, and we're going to clean up the engine a little bit because it's been sitting for a couple of years. And um, you're going to see that today, guys. Yep. So, watch and see. Enjoy the ride. We made French toast, a little bacon. I mean, can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Got a nice day. It's a little rainy, but we're going to get it done regardless. All right, guys. We're here with the Suburban, we're flushing out the cooling system, the water. Obviously you can see this clean water coming through, it's a little dirty, but it's getting cleaner. We already uh, flushed the duct and collected it. Uh, this is just water now passing through the system, getting that last little bit of uh, old energy that might be uh, in the system. All right, so we're done flushing the motor. We have everything all cleared up. We got clear water coming through, so no more rust water, because somebody had put water and coolant in here, so it gets rusty from sitting. Now we flush it out. We're gonna change the radiator. We're gonna put fresh uh, GM Dex Cool uh, fluid, updated to something that's better for the environment, and get this thing up and running again. Yep. So uh, are we gonna take off first the radiator, or? Take the radiator shroud, uh, hold downs out we got the upper hose we got the lower hose off we're going to take the transmission cooler and the oil cooler lines up and pull the whole thing up there's one assembly nice you'll see that in a sec guys guys so we're ready to take the radiator out we had one problem with the oil cooler line one of the fittings seized so it actually snapped the aluminum line yeah I'll show you guys right now so we're gonna have to get a new oil cooler line but the transmission cooler lines came off good and easy so it's not a crazier job to do it would be work it would be bad if both broke at the same time so we got the radiator out it's gonna take this last bolt out to release the radiator two shred two clamps on either end and then I'm gonna leave the shroud in and just pull it up. It's off. And there you have it. Radiator's out. It needed to be replaced. There was a leak there. So we know that that needed to be replaced. I mean, it's filled up with a ton of crap in the front. That would affect cooling on the truck. Here's the uh, snapped oil cooler line, if you guys can see. All the rest came out. That one snapped, unfortunately. We took it out with the lower hose, made it our life easier. Yeah. And we got a vacuum of all those years of leaves in there. That's a lot. Guys, so. What we're gonna do now is vacuum all the rust and grime and spider webs all over this engine because it's been sitting for a couple. So right now we're just gonna hit all this up. I already took the leaves out. Now I'm just gonna get the little small stuff with the uh, vacuum. And you can see that inside. Turn me on real quick.
it back to the aluminium color. What is it? Aluminium. What kind? What part of Sheffield, are you, uh, England, are you from? From Lancaster. Oh, he's from Lancaster. <laughs> he's a land yo. It's another morning out here. We've got parts. We're gonna put the suburban cooling system back in now. With everything pretty much brand new. Okay. The radiator, new water pump, oil cooler lines. We were able to save the transmission cooler line, so that's gonna save us some money. And we're gonna detail a little bit more of this. You're gonna see us put AC delete bracket. We'll paint up these brackets, make them look nice. Water pump, new quick connectors, and keep moving forward with the project. Nice, nice, nice. It's coming along, guys. But guys, you're gonna see all this get done today and enjoy the ride. Here we go, new radiator. A little three dub. Circulating the system so you can just get the truck out the backyard. <laughs> All right, we got the car back in front of the house. So back in front of the house and uh... We're gonna remove the water pump. You guys already saw us take the upper and lower radiator hoses off. So now we got the heater core line that goes directly into the water pump disconnected. And we're gonna pop the clips to pull the metal tubing out of the fitting to the water pump here. Back there somewhere. Yeah, right there. Yep, that one. So these two connectors here, you gotta press these in like that and then pull it up. Check them. Nice. Yeah, I think it came out perfectly. So that's how it comes out. You see how it looks, guys? That clips right into that fitting. If it has a leak, they do sell another one of these collars that will help it out. But you know, this one's old. We're gonna replace it, clean it up. If not, there's always a trick: clean it off with a wire brush, and then you can cut this fitting off and then use a regular hose with two clamps and then run it to the heater core line, which we're gonna do. I forgot that they don't make this hose anymore. They only make the rear one. We got that. This one, we're gonna repair this one. going on guys so right now we're having a hard time pulling out this bolt so we're not going to use this compressor anymore so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to flat spot this area right here so we can pull out this bolt right here because it kind of doesn't come out and then we're going to modify the bolt so we can put it in and out for the new compressor in the future and you're going to see that in a second
favorite. Favorite. We gotta go. Cause always we all, I always forget to order one thing. Alright guys, we got the water temp sensor. We're gonna change that to the new one. So this 95 has a two pin. You yeah. can see that. Then there's a one pin. That was the auto zone run we went on because we got the one pin one. <laughs> We're gonna hit it with a little thread sealer, even though it comes with some. Just some extra precautions. We don't have to go back in. Already painted this boy. Yeah, we detail it up. We painted it. We're getting a new alternator in. So we don't care about the overspray. Get water temp sensor in there. Oh, what a day. We got a new thermostat housing. So this is what you need. You need the gasket. There is another gasket for the actual thermostat, and then the actual housing has a thermostat as well to go on top of it. So that was the auto zone though. So this is the air gasket. Alright guys, so we got the gasket around the thermostat, how it looks. Drops right in. Try to clock it the same way it came out. I was just like that. So we're gonna put it back. There's a new water temp sensor. And we're gonna put the new thermostat on the top. So we painted this bracket up to just clean everything up in the front end here so this doesn't look all rusty and stuff. Put this right back up. <laughs> all right everyone we got the ac delete bracket we put in place here there are other belts and stuff but it just doesn't run good it slips the alternator isn't charged so we made sure to get the delete bracket for now like i said winter's here we're going to put a new tensioner on which we have in this box here we have a new idler a new tensioner all those will be new so no failures on the bearings because these bearings get old and worn out be driving on the belt on the highway and pop a belt for a twenty dollar part, and then that's a four hundred dollar tow. Yeah. So this is looking really nice. Yeah, we're waiting for the alternator to come in the mail, and then pretty much all the alternator charging system done. Pulleys and idlers and belts, water pump done. Radiator done. Heater core line. Those will be the next ones. Got the tension on. All right, guys. Look at that front end of that motor. Look at how good that thing looks. That's so cool. Got it in there. This is stuff you gotta do when you're working on these old vehicles, you know. We got everything in there, all the accessories on, belts, pulleys, painted everything up. New thermostat housing, new thermostat and gaskets. Yep. Just tightening up all the stuff that potentially could go wrong on the road. Yep. You know, this is gonna wrap up this Halloween special video. We started by stripping off all this. Uh, we still have a little bit more painting and stuff to do, so we're not gonna install the uh, radiator. the radiator today or the fan like that. So uh, we got a new radiator and a new fan clutch as well because we're gonna still keep the mechanical fan. So we went with a new clutch. So when we sit in traffic, you know. Work, you know it's working. But uh, look at how that thing looks up there, man. Everything nicely painted. Alternators already ordered. And guys, just gonna wrap up the video. Like, 
like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when new videos drop. Hope you like our Halloween inspired video. We're working on the 95 Suburban. Spooky. Get inside here. Yeah, it's spooky. Spooky. But show some love. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Like, comment. Have any questions. Working on your car and you're looking for a specific answer, shoot us a message. We got the guru here. He'll answer any questions you might have. And, you know, thank you guys for watching, man. See you on the next week's episode. Peace.